The camera has a great picture. I don't use it all the time, so I can say how often needs rebooting and things like that. But what I wanted to explain is how to set up this camera with my NVR. I am by no means an expert with networking or cameras, but I did figure this out after some internet searching. 1. Plug in your camera to power from the included power supply and plug into your router. 2. It comes with a little CD that has a program called Device Manager. Run that. 3. In the Device Manager program click IP Search. It should find your camera. 4. Change the IP address to match your network. For example my router's IP address is 192.168.1.1. So I set the camera to 192.168.1.41. I made sure nothing else was using 41. Then change the default gateway to 192.168.1.1. Then click modify. Five. Then I used Internet Explorer. Chrome doesn't work at all. Firefox is limited. Microsoft Edge is limited. IE is the way to go. In IE I went to the address 192.168.1.41. And then I had to install some ActiveX thing. Then restart the browser and then I could select the language, view the camera and adjust all the settings. I turned off UPnP, because I read online somewhere that you need to for it to work with a NVR. I don't know if this is true, but I did it. I also turned on motion detection and made adjustments to the time, language, etc. Six. Then I used the device manager again to change the IP address to something that matches what is on your NVR. For example my NVR has the IP address of 192.168.254.1 My cameras are all set up as 192.168.254.2, 192.168.254.3 And so on. So I just changed the IP address of this camera to match that. I made it 192.168.254.10. Then change the default gateway to your NVR's address which in my case was 192.168.254.1. The subnet mask was 255.255.255.0. I have no idea what this does, and just left it as is. Then click modify. Seven. Then I removed the camera from my router and plugged into my NVR. Eight. Within my NVR on the camera setup I input the static IP address that I saved to the camera and chose the protocol ONVIF and set the management port as 8899. Then everything works great. I found this port of 8899 in the item description for a similar megapixel camera. Without that info, it would never work.